In January 2017, fashion industry executive Stasia Lambrinos experiences customer service Becky S. style. I really needed to make sure that this color was going to be blue. She was so curt and short on this email. She said, yes, blue. <laughs> Just really abrupt. After weeks, Stasia tries again. I emailed Becky S. and said, hey, Becky, how's my glasses coming along? <laughs> and Becky S., again, very curt and rude, wrote back, in the lab, period. It seems courtesy isn't Becky S.'s strong suit. I wrote her back, you know, I am a customer and trying to get the glasses, and she wrote back to me, I have 5,000 email orders a day, lady. I don't have time to be nice. When her glasses finally arrive, they're not even the right color. I was like, okay, he's, you know, they've got me. In the box was a thick black pair of what looks to me to be fake Ray-Bans. And in a separate bag is a pair of odd prescription lenses. Lambrinos eventually buys the authentic Ray-Ban she wanted and compares her real Ray-Bans, the blue frames, with the fakes in black. These are completely different. They are super lightweight. The actual lens is bigger, um, and the frame shape is completely different. You can see here the large typeset of the Wayfair, and then here, you're not seeing that in the font, and the writing on the Ray-Ban is much smaller. She demands her money back and files a dispute with her Discover card. This launched a whole new campaign of threats, um, telling me to go sit in what I made, um, calling me a degenerate woman, calling me a stupid, stupid lady. And the calls continued and continued and continued, and the emails, and now I'm getting hundreds of emails. I had to do something, but I still couldn't figure out who owned the site. Stasia happens upon a former victim's online post. It was only up for a matter of minutes. She put up there the name Vitaly Borker, and she put, he's at it again. Look up decor my eyes. 